All right, hello guys. Today I'm going to be ranking the letters of the alphabet in order. So let's start with A. All right, I like the letter A. Oh yeah, so my, how the ranking is gonna work. Their use in the language itself and the use of the alphabet song. If you don't know the alphabet song, go back to preschool. All right, the letter A. The letter A. I like the letter A. It's a pretty, of course it would go in the A tier, maybe. Oh yeah, this is this is the tier list. So A, it's very important in the alphabet because it has to start everything off. It's A, and that's exactly what the letter A is used for. It's a perfect A tier letter. The letter A just gives you that feeling of A. Yeah. Okay. Now you have the letter B. B B B. It's also the first letter of balls. So, B, 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 balls. And then the alphabet, A, B. The word, the letter B sounds all right. It's, it's a good C to your letter. The letter C. Okay, the letter C. K, k, k. It makes that sound. A, B, C. You always say the alphabet like that. Because you're, you're using it to hype up for the next letter. But... Where do I want to put C? C is definitely not A or F tier. Uh, uh, I think C is just a C tier letter. It's just a really, it's a good letter, but like, there's definitely better options than the letter C. All right, the letter D. I like the letter D. It's not good in the English language itself, but I like in this alphabet song. A, B, C, D. Like, you always say the letter D with such power that it, D is a B tier letter. Even though it's not, it's all right in the terms of the language itself, but using it just as a, as a letter, like in the alphabet song, it's good. E. <laughs> all right, the letter E. All right, the E is not in the F tier. I, I just left it there. I'll put it in the bottom. All right, so E. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for it, but it's just a B tier letter. The letter A, it just, the, A, B, C, D, E. Like, you can't say the letter E in the alphabet song correctly without, like, pausing yourself. And that's the only reason why it's not an A tier letter. All right. The letter F. F is the first letter in... What's it the first letter in? It's the first letter in friend. And I love my friends. And so I like the use of the letter F. It's a pretty underused letter, but the sound of F is all right. A, B, C, D, E, F. Like it, it, it leaves you wanting more from F. And that's why it's just a D tier letter. Okay. The letter G, it's, it's g g g. It's used in not enough words, and the alphabet usage is A B C D E F G. It's the first pause in the alphabet song, so I think it deserves a little bit of importance. But it's oh, it's it's, it's kind of just a no no. I can't tell if I want to put it in D or C tier. G goes in the C tier. All right, H, H. Who decided the word H was gonna sound like that? Like it doesn't make sense. Why does the letter H? It, it doesn't have a ch. It's huh. And the the alphabet song, it, you literally go H. It's that's after the first pause, so you are not building up. We're not starting some. Well, we are starting something new, but with a pretty okay letter. The letter H is going into D tier because it is just not that good. The letter H is not that good. It's bad in the alphabet song. It's useful in the English language, but the letter H just also gives off a kind of raw feeling. It could just not give a good feeling. I. I. Okay, when I think of the letter I, I think of ice cream. And I like ice cream. But I, in terms of the alphabet song, H, I, it's definitely a relief from H. 
No, H does not go into D tier. It goes into F tier. H is an F tier letter. I. H. I. It feels like a relief in the alphabet song. Its use in the English language is important. And it overall gives a very joyous feeling to utter I. And it's a fun thing to say. I. Alright. So. K. Wait, where's J? Wait, wait, wait. Did, they, did they skip? H. Okay, for some reason J wasn't in it. But, so J. 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 H. I. J. K. Like, that's where the song starts to go down more. The song H I J K, like it's it's an all right letter. I like the letter J. It's a good letter, but it's kind of not used at all in the alphabet. It's just kind of bad in the alphabet. It's it's in the in the alphabet song. It's good. I like it in the alphabet song. It's H I J. It gives you the feeling of a little bit of scary because that's how the alphabet song tries to take a small turn. And then it sings the word J, 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 I use it when I make a whole bunch of automatopoeia sounds, but like it's not used in the English language. It's just a D tier letter. So K, J, K. This is also in that weird sad part of the alphabet song where it's like H I J K and it's it's right it's right before the fun part of the alphabet. All the letters in the fun part of the alphabet are C tier higher. But K. K is just C but just not as good. It's like an it's not it's not F tier, but it's definitely below C tier. Why is this one so bad? I, I, where's the letter L? L? L is the first letter in Liam plays. And you could also go take the L. Which calling somebody an L is a bad thing. But now we're at the best part of the alphabet song. L M N O P. Like it gives you such a happy feeling of going L M N O P. So I'm going to do these speed round. L. M. N. O. P. All right. So I did element OP really quickly. I could have done it at the speed of it, but like, yeah, all the element OP letters definitely belong in A and B tier. They definitely belong there. N just got bumped down a little because it's just a N. Like, what kind of noise is the letter N? Element OP. Like, it's also the middle of it. So it's kind of carries over into the O. And using it in the English language is a little, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, but all the other elemental P letters are all in A tier because they are that good. O, P, M, L. Like, you get such power from shouting those letters. They're so important to the English language. All right, Q. Q. It's the first letter in Queen. That's what I learned as a kid. It's the first letter in Queen. It's also the first letter in Quiznos. I used to live near Quiznos, but I don't think the Quiznos exists anymore. But Q is an F tier letter. It literally cannot exist in the English language without the letter U next to it. it so that means it relies on another letter. Q is literally just the word U. Like, I'm mixing a whole bunch of other eight letter names next to each other to make Q. K, K, K. That's an C and U. Like, Q is not a good letter. R. R. R is an all right letter. I, I personally can enjoy the letter R, but it's, it's, it's actually really important. R is a really important letter to the English language. When I think of R, I think of pirates. I think of rrr. It's a sad machines make when they're moving, so R is a B to your letter. R S. 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 S is 
it's useful. Oh yeah, I haven't been including the alphabet song. Q R S. Like it's like also at the sad part of the alphabet. So like, why do we need to like Q R S? Like it's all right. It's a C tier letter. It's very incredibly useful in the alphabet, in the English language. But like, other than that, it's not a very good letter. All right, the letter T. The letter T is a pretty good letter. I like the letter T, even if others might not enjoy the letter T. S T. So I'm gonna end up putting T in the B tier because I like the letter T. U. U. I like the letter U. It's a very good letter. It's definitely better than Q. Better than the D tier letters. Is it is it a C tier? Could I could I put it in C tier or B tier? It's one of these two. It's not an A tier letter. It, for more variety, I'm just gonna put it in C. No, you you V. Like it's it it pretty much it goes into V, which V is an all right. Wait, well, what's happening? V. V is an all right letter it's fun to say and it's good in the alphabet song but what other what other criteria was uses in the in the english language it is not used like uh, at all in the english language it's not used as much as any of the any of the why is w there w is not an f tier v is just it's it's more useful than h i hate h but all right w W. It's a fun letter to say. So that's why I'm giving it... I'm giving it the W. I'm giving it the W. It got A tier. W got A tier. All right. X. All right. We're at the end. So X. Do I like X? It's a good letter. It's fun to say. But it's also not used in the English language. X Y yeah, it kind of it kind of gives us a nice ending. It, it starts the end of the alphabet. It's it's not F tier. It's not. It it's it's D tier. Why why it's the good old round C. It helps us close out the alphabet. And it just it, it just makes you want to go Y Z. Like, it helps you end the alphabet. All right, the last letter to include is Z. Okay, Z. Uses in the English language, it's a not used much. Not used much, but it really does end the alphabet. Z, it's like a cooler S, but without the English language usage. Hmm. It's definitely around this area. I'm gonna, mm, the use is in... It, it's C tier. Again, everything else on the bottom are just extras that they, that they put there, so... Alright, so there's my alphabet tier list. A tier is A-L-M-O-P-W. Yeah, W just kind of came in there, but W deserved it. And then B tier is D, E, I, N, R, and T. They all are very well-rounded letters. Their use to the alphabet song is really good. They're just not as good as A tier. Oh my gosh, B, C, S? Like, better call Saul. Okay, but C tier. C is, C tier letters are pretty, they're, they're good. They're, they're, they're kind of there to fill in letter spots because there needs to be more letters. And Z is there because it's just that good in the alphabet song to end out the alphabet. D tier are kind of just letters that, that some of them I could just live without. And F tier. H deserves F tier. Q doesn't, but it's just not good. Q is not as good as all these other ones, but it's, yeah. Alright, I guess this will conclude the video.
have a good day.